Hey everybody, I'm Eric Solander here at Indian Wells Golf Resort. We're here on the Celebrity Course, hole number 17, green. Nice, beautiful day. Today we're going to help you with your putting and more specifically some long putting off of a slope, a severe slope, one of the hardest putts to sort of get close. Our goal when we're putting long putts is two putts, but if we, on these long putts, it's really easy to three putt, even four putt if we're not playing it the right way. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to read long putts off of sloped breaks um, that you feel in your feet right away. Um, so if you look at this putt, we have about a 60 foot putt and I'm standing on a severe slope. And the first instinct for any golfer is to stand up here and really feel it in your feet. We got about a five degree slope and what happens is when we're reading our putt, we're reading it right where we're feeling it in our feet. So we're going to anticipate this ball is going to probably break a lot. So the golfer, what we typically do, we're going to want to aim over here and feel it really in my feet. And I'm going to try to launch it up this slope, way up there. And uh, why did that break? Why, what the heck? I, that, that was a huge slope. How did that not break? And it's because we're hitting it so hard that that initial velocity just goes right through that first break. So today's tip is on long putts, anything outside of 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet, is you're going to walk up to the putt about 50% of the way, about the halfway point. That's where the putt's going to start to break. You're going to read it from there and then come back and hit your putt off of that new read. So on this next putt, let's go up to the about 50% way, and we'll see if the uh, see what we feel in our feet. Draw about the 50% zone here, and we notice that it's pretty flat right here, about 50%. So as you're reading the putt, you start to see about 25% of the way there's another slope. So that's where you start to do your read. So as you come up to here, about the halfway point, or 75% of the way off your first putt, you start to feel there's a little bit of a slope, not too much. So probably about a three degree slope. So a three degree slope from this distance is probably about maybe a yard to the right, maybe a yard and a half, so maybe four feet three feet of break only. The first putt I just did, I probably played about 10 feet of break. And just a good rule of thumb when you're doing long putts is they typically don't break more than five feet. So if you're playing your break more than five feet away, you're probably over reading your putt 90% of the time. So on this next couple balls, I'm gonna go ahead and aim just to the left of the yellow ball up there. There's a flag at about three feet. And I'm going to put this ball to what I feel is about a yard to the right of the play, maybe a little bit more, right at the shadow of the play. And you can kind of notice how that putt didn't really break that much. It just went right through the initial break. And I feel tons of break in my feet, but I'm really just going to try to trust the by my, my, uh, my second read is going to be correct. So you can see it really goes straight for a long time and then it finally breaks off to the side. I've got two, two and a half feet putts straight up the hill for an easy two putt. So this strategy is really important uh, when you go to the course to go practice. I would do this maybe four times, at least up and down the green before you go play, just to get a sense of the speed of the greens. And just notice, wow, try that on your next putt. If you're standing on a slope from a pretty far distance, you really don't have to play that break that much. If you're going to have something shorter, different story, but for the most part on long putts, try to keep it your read you know, 50% of the way, then start reading the putt. It'll help you a lot. Uh, we got overseeing going on. It's going to be an awesome year. The temperatures are starting to come down. So if you're in need of some instruction, Give us a call at the golf shop anytime and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks.